do succulents make the pot or does the pot makes the succulent that is the question this is a very pretty looking pot but would it still look as good if it didn't have a pretty succulent on top or will this pretty succulent look good if planted in just an ordinary plain pot hello there my name is Liz a self-confessed succulent addict welcome to my channel growing succulents the first couple of years of growing succulents the only pots I've ever used are terracotta pots when friends and family found out that I am into succulents they started giving me pretty pots to grow my succulents in so does it really matter what sort of pot you use for growing the succulents this pot used to be a cookie jar now it's got some Hawortheopsis quaktakta growing on it beautiful <laughs> These are my collection of pots that I bought in the last couple of months. Most of these pots I've got from my local op shop or opportunity shop or thrift store and also some at a garage sale and others are bought from friends who are also into collecting succulents. My friend Kanya from Sweet Sweet Eye Succulents on YouTube, go check out her channel. Well, she came over for a visit mainly basically to give me my Christmas present. Look at that gorgeous one. Ah, uh, my Christmas present from her. And she also gave me this Grassula Mercanti Eye that's still in this pot. And she attended some pottery classes and <laughs> made this gorgeous little pot from her pottery class anyway so it's just gorgeous pot and also she makes these purse pots look how gorgeous that is isn't it so now she gave me this pot as well only because this is the last one of the pot that she bought before I actually bought some pots from her before because she bought a lot of pots and has got a lot of pot stash that she bought her husband suggested that probably she has a little bit too much so she started selling them and this is one of the pot that I bought from her before and since this is the last one that she's got so she decided to give me a matching set so these two pots now from her stash so she said you might as well have the two of them a beautiful gorgeous pot for the succulents and this one I also got from her before I thought she made this in her class but she actually bought this from somewhere or got hold of it somewhere and she's not using it and she said well if you like it look at that the man from the old man from the tree or the tree man should you call that tree man so this one now is an ideal size for this plant because even though it's a bit small because she also gave me earlier well uh, a few months ago she gave me this mercanti eye that I have potted up in this cute tiny little pot look how small this is so that can go into there but I don't want to drop it because now I need to put my little finger here to put it out <laughs> but anyway so I need to put this plant and that plant into this pot on the table here are some of the pots that I have accumulated in the past two or three months ago and I just been buying them here and there and a lot of these ones are really interesting so I like pretty pots but I do like unique pots so something that is not meant to be a pot, I use for a pot. So say for example, this little 
watering can here. Look how gorgeous that is. So this is not intended. Oh look, there's a price. That's what it was selling for, $2. I actually paid $2 for it as well. But then this is now <laughs> maybe 30 years later. So that's still a bargain for that one. So this will make a cute little planter for some succulents, some small succulents like a sedum or something that sort of hangs down. And then I've got a fire truck. Now this fire truck here is not just ordin any ordinary fire truck. This is actually a money saving, a piggy bank fire truck. Look at that. So you put your money in there and then in the bottom it pops out because I'm going to use this as a planter for my succulents so this is not bad for four dollars and when i say four dollars i actually got this one on half price so certain days in my thrift store local thrift store well saint Venice for those who, who are in australia they have a day where in certain weeks i think they have so each week they have certain color coded items that are sold for 50 percent off. So this is what I look for when I go over to my local uh, thrift store. So for the 50% bargain. So now this one here, this is a narrow, shallow little pot that you'd say, what am I going to use that for? It's not enough to hold any soil. If you plant a succulent, there's a Echeveria, it wouldn't be, take long before you have to repot it again. And plus the bottom is quite thick and this is someone's project as well. And this wouldn't be any good for drilling hole. You're better off using this one undrilled. So items like this, I prefer to not drill a hole. I can plant a cactus here and a cactus can still survive in a pot like this without any hole. Now this one's mugs, interesting mugs like this are always good. So this is, I don't know, how practical this mug is. You have to put your finger in there. So probably the idea was good, the design was good, but probably the people who bought it find it uncomfortable or impractical because you have to hold it this way and hold it that way there or else it's gonna flip flop over. So a well-designed mug, but not very practical. Use for muggy, <laughs> use for making a cup up. Now this one here, the cute little leopard cat pot and got it for a bargain for not even a dance and a song only a song i think now this jug is really interesting see look at that it's sort of bent and this would be it wasn't eight dollars it was four dollars for that jug look how beautiful that's going to be now look what we've got we got a little quack quack duck this is just ornaments that i can put in the garden and a lot more interesting pots here that i found here and there shallow pots like this again would be best use undrilled goblet like this it says set of two so that one would be ideal for a single row set or small rosetted succulent now this one another little jug but look at the design that is just gorgeous isn't it it's just beautiful sometimes i do come across pots that i just buy because i like it so this one is a flower vase or flower vase and i am not drilling hole in this pot here because it's sacrilegious if you do so this is i paid 20 dollars for this one actually sunny, sunny blue collection fine porcelain so this one would have cost a lot of money back then when it was sold or initially but then now i will be using this one for my home because it's such a pity to drill a hole in that one so i won't be drilling a hole in that one so certain pots as well that i bought this one i only paid a dollar for this at a garage sale or a car boot sale and this one i actually before i was gonna drill a hole on this pot here and then there's a to Mercia from someone. This is 1962. This was given to somebody. And so now this one actually have got a damaged finger. See there, that old man's, uh, his hand was sort of damaged. So I Googled this up online before I started drilling a hole. Well, I haven't started. I haven't really drilled a hole on it and found out that it's actually worth $90 
to a similar figurine with better hands so but even this one I thought I'm not gonna drill a hole in that one because I can still use that in my succulent arrangement bigger pots and then put that in there in my little oriental succulent arrangement pot or something like that now things like this as well a little what do you call that little jug made in Japan sometimes it's a pity to drill holes but then even if you drill holes on this one there's such a small pot that or jug that is not really worth drilling a hole because there are some succulents that you can plant on this ones or even plants cuttings or something for rooting would be ideal use for that one now something like this one would be good to drill a hole in because that's big enough to hold some soil now look at this cute little chirp chirp birdie now little birdie here is not gonna get drilled made in Japan so I really feel bad in drilling holes in quality pots and speaking of another quality pot I'm gonna show you another one here that one I almost drilled a hole and luckily I got my senses together and google it up first so if you google it up there was one for sale at Etsy for 48 or 58 dollars something like that US so still I will not drill a hole on this pot instead I'm just going to use this for a trinket box or something because I feel bad doing that drilling a hole and then there's no chip or anything if it's got a chip I will drill a hole but uh, fortunately it doesn't have a chip so on items with no chip I don't drill holes now even this pot here look at this oh my goodness like how can you this is good uh, for Helen Elvins I didn't even see that name there before so this one for four dollars oh my lord so how can you drill holes no drilling on that one as well so that will be a flower vase or flower vase for inside the house now check out this pot here this one oh my goodness <gasps> okay don't drop okay this is two dollars <laughs> fifty so how cute is that now this one I will definitely drill a hole in this one there's already a marking where it has been sitting on some water before I think so Oh, there's a hole. I didn't even know there's a hole. I don't need to drill a hole on you because you are intended as a cute little pot or planter. Now this one, very interesting. This one, I will definitely drill a hole. And for, I think $4 for that one. And look, I can put something on that one and maybe construct something, I don't know yet, but I will figure it out what to do with that one. And also, this pot here I have in the past bought a pot like this and I drilled holes all the way around and I use it for planting lithium so it's like two layers you see that one there so I will drill a hole in the middle part this is a good pot to use for some succulent arrangement provided I drill holes in the center and also use all the sides here for putting other succulents as well now speaking of holes this one is a holy pot now even this one that's gorgeous isn't it that's two dollars will I drill a hole in that one I don't know yet so some I will some I won't now this one oh look at this wouldn't it be nice if I plant some succulents in that all the way around oh my goodness that is one beautiful beautiful pot now this one I paid full price <laughs> five dollars because of the way it looks I think it might be a potpourri pot or something like that for putting some nice scented dry leaves or whatever so this one as well oh gosh I've actually this one I actually had this one for a while already and it says five dollar as is and that's what I paid for it but it's supposed to be like a wishing well look at that gorgeous this one would be good for bonsai arrangements for tiny little pots like this and also this one I had actually drilled a hole in this one ready see and look how cute that is oh now more little bits and bob and that one is some cute little 
antique no it's only made in Taiwan so I thought it's some antique one but anyway it could be but the label says that it's porcelain made somewhere in the last maybe 30 years 40 years now jugs like this milk jugs or whatever jug you're for as long as it's not a jugular vein <laughs> <laughs> oh look there's a name something Jan B I never mind so that's made in Australia and even this one look how cute this one is how cute is that oh a little porcelain basket or china basket even this one's here like little I have been collecting this one so so far this is actually the first one of these actually I bought about a year ago and then I found two this year alone so anyway a little cute basket oh how nice is this pot by the way here look outside inside outside beautiful so now little potpourri pots like this would be good for planting succulents of this lot here there's one pot here that i actually drilled i actually bought it a few years ago and okay this one there was one pot like this sold online. It was for an auction for $250. And I've got two more of these where in the other one, I already drilled the hole. And then I decided to look it up <laughs> because of the name of where it came from. This is made in Australia, but it's something could not work out ben pottery yakaranda yakandanda pottery but anyway a similar one with the same almost the same design and shape and size was actually auctioned off for 250 dollars so i felt really bad so this one now i did not drill a hole but the other two i've got holes in it so anyway guys just just more bits and pieces big pots as well like this ones oh this one i think i don't know what that was before some coffee jar which is not really well made for that for putting coffee or tea but i think they're good as a planter for the garden or a pot for the succulents nice big enough look but it's gorgeous design and also this one how beautiful is this pot so that is going out into the garden as well now and this one oh how cute is this how beautiful is that on the wings of love it's like a wing for two dollars beautiful now this one as well oh my goodness my friend Kanya said I could make this yeah she could make this one as well beautiful she could easily make this pot here but it's very organic looking looks very natural now anyway guys that's all I got I'm just oh this one hang on is that bragging show and tell all oh, more more pots with hole I was looking for you I couldn't find you anywhere now I got an echo now I got a husband snoring in the background and a budgie talking as well so this pot will be good look at that oh gorgeous will be interesting pots and this one see he's got a chip on the lid so I can't hang on wait a minute oh that hurts so both sides already got chip so I can't use any of this one for whatever purpose it was first made for but I could use the bottom half for planting beautiful succulents and as you can see I've already drilled three holes in the bottom so anyway guys that's all I've got for this video and also this one biscuits look see we get rid of that and $25 I actually paid half price for that one so 50% off so I think it's still not bad for $12.50 for this pot for biscuits so that's it for this video and I am gonna go and put this away and oh that one I'm not gonna drill a hole and this one look I can't decide whether I should put a hole in this one or leave it as a flower vase or flower vase now yes before I forget 
these are some of more some more of the pots I got from my friend Kanya look how beautiful that is gorgeous they were not very expensive at all I think that one was I don't know twelve dollars or fifteen dollars and oh hang on yes look at this what a beauty look at that oh gorgeous isn't it beautiful pot and it's fifteen dollars wow can you believe that oh beautiful oh blue <laughs> of course you got pink you got blue and oh look how nice is that that's where it is so this one actually so i did get the matching one so i've got a full set of three pots see so look at these three pots gorgeous pots isn't that beautiful and how about that one you like that one that is so pretty beautiful and also recently only a couple of days ago i went to my friend tanya you notice know, something tanya and kanya oh i forgot to show you this one how beautiful is that jug as well and that actually comes in a set look at that <sighs> along with these other ones balls Look how beautiful that bowl is. That one is a dollar or three dollars, one dollar fifty. Sorry. So, and this one's very pretty for those ones. And now I went to my friend Tanya's place to pick up a couple of plants that she's getting rid of. And so on my way out, she said, I bought some pots. Would you like to get hold of some? Because she bought too much for herself so anyway <laughs> look at these pots now for bargain 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 for ten dollars look at that gorgeous hey beautiful and look i think you saw one of the green one outside this is the pink one that beautiful so anyway guys i'm just gonna find out what else i've got here and now i bid you adieu because I can't wait to put something gorgeous in these pots. That one is just perfect for those single rosette echeverias or something like that. Anyway, beautiful pots. And look at that one. Ah, lots of beautiful pots. Beautiful pots to put beautiful succulents in. I think I've already shown this one. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video. So I better get on with it and pot some plants up using these pots.